Welcome back, I'm Dr. Dustin, board certified dermatologist, and today I'm gonna to be showing you some different videos from TikTok. Of course, we've got some pimple pops and cyst pops, but there's a couple of fake things on here. I'm gonna to try to expose that, and we're gonna have some fun with some of these different things that I don't always show on the channel. So I hope you enjoy it, let's dive in. Okay, the first thing we've got here is remove a tattoo at home by doing this. When I see Pam cooking spray, bananas, cucumbers, I don't think anything good is gonna happen here. So they're using Pam cooking spray. Now we're rubbing it with a banana. Then they're putting Vaseline on there as a skin protectant. I, I'm very doubtful that this is going to work to remove a tattoo, if indeed it is a tattoo. And cucumbers, is this a spa day? Are we taking the tattoo to the spa? I don't know where this is going. Oh, we got a little showing there. So now we're gonna just wipe the cucumbers on. There's something magical about cucumbers. And then a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. This is absolutely important. And we just put it on there. And they just set it. All you have to do is set the magic eraser on there, and then you wipe it off with some tissue. And there's no tattoo. This is clearly fake. It's not gonna work. Probably just gonna irritate your skin and waste some good cucumbers and a banana. We've got a giant pimple. I like that we've got gloves on here. Squeezing, they're pushing. You're getting the gunk out of there. Cyst under the skin. Might be some ingrown hair in there too. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a big hair in there. You can see it. Always a risk that these will grow back with time, depending on the hard area. It may or may not be so easy to just cut the sack out so it doesn't come back. It'd take a little punch biopsy, one or two small stitches, and this wouldn't be an issue anymore. Hopefully it won't come back for the person, but it's, it's always a risk when you're just popping them and squeezing them if you're not getting the sack out. Oh, now it goes flying. Still got some pressure in there. <laughs> All right, we've got laser tattoo removal. So what they do is they take a laser that's gonna target pigment in the skin, dark pigment. This would also work for melanin type pigment if you have dark spots on the skin from pigment that your body just produces. And it's going over and you can see that it's vaporizing that pigment right away. It's inducing some swelling in the skin and it looks white immediately. Now after the swelling starts to fade, this is still gonna be somewhat dark, but the laser is breaking up the big globules of tattoo pigment into smaller pieces so that the body can take it away through the lymphatic system. Usually takes more than one treatment to keep breaking those molecules up so the body can get rid of it. And they're always gonna be left with a very faint outline of whatever the tattoo was, but it will look much better. Again, we've got laser tattoo removal here. They're using what looks like a picosecond laser. This fires really, really fast, so it generates a little less heat, a little more comfortable for the patient, and it's more effective for the tattoo removal. All right, we are removing a pimple patch here. She's taking that one off. Now she's gonna put another one back on. Are you... She's saving them? Why are we saving them? No, gross. All right, this is one of the most gnarly feet I've ever seen for a pedicure. Couple questions, why is the practitioner not wearing any gloves? This is clearly a foot that is covered in warts. They are contagious and now they're just trimming them off. They probably put some salicylic acid on the foot to draw some water in there and to soften these warts up and they're just scraping them off with a sharp tool with no gloves. It is gonna take more than one treatment, but this, this kind of is not cool to me. You gotta be wearing gloves. You're gonna transfer those warts to your own hands, to the next client that you have. Ooh, I mean, it looks better, but, and they're just picking it up and playing with it like Parmesan cheese at the Olive Garden. All right, this is a pretty big pimple slash cyst above the eyebrow, and she's just gonna start mashing on it. Let's see what we get out of here. Oh, you go shooting. Ow, I bet that's painful. Careful popping these big ones on the face. You have the danger zone over here. You just, you don't want an infection to spread. Okay, best hair removal TikTok. We've got the right tools. We're going after this ingrown hair. Boom, hair comes out nice and easy. And then we've got this little hair cast in there. The hair sheath probably. Pull it right out. That's a big old hair compared to some of the other ones around there, so I can see why it'd get ingrown. And just put it right on your hand, yeah, that's cool. Now we're back probably in the beard line here. This is a whole follicular unit with several hairs coming out of it. It doesn't look bad, I don't know why they're pulling this one out. Not entirely sure, to be honest. 
They got it though. It's just a big hair follicle with multiple hairs. Now we got another one. Again, these don't really look that inflamed, so I'm not entirely sure why we're ripping them out. There we go. Okay, got it. Well done. Again, where's your gloves? Don't quite understand that. And last one here. Can they get it? And yes, they can. Good job. Yep, right under the beard line. Hmm. A little tender, a little painful. I particularly want to know what you guys thought of the tattoo removal. I mean, there was the fake one and the real one. What do you think about that? Um, obviously the fake, I just don't understand why somebody posts that. But guys, I appreciate you watching the videos. Every time you watch, like, comment, subscribe, it helps support the channel and in turn helps support my work in my charitable mobile clinic where I go around and provide free dermatology care to underserved communities. So thank you for being here and supporting the work that I do so I can keep taking care of people at no cost to them. I'll see you guys on the next video.